a while back, I made a video called The World's Simplest Single Transistor Oscillator. And within that video, I quickly breadboarded up a circuit very similar to this um, in order to make a crude yet somewhat effective AM radio transmitter. And I was using a breadboard quite similar to this. We've all seen this, very familiar. But shortly after making that video, I decided to do it in true breadboard fashion with a bunch of tacks and parts all stuck into a piece of wood. And let me go up here. Really cool. At least I think it's cool in its simplicity and use of household materials where I made a diamond antenna using um, paint stirring sticks from the hardware store. And everything's just held on with rubber bands and uh, thumbtacks and all the connections are at thumbtacks and so we're gonna hook it up to well I'm just gonna turn it on and listen to it on an AM radio down the other end of the table there. Okay, so there's the AM radio down at the other end of the table, and I've got it tuned to about 1 megahertz. And here's the radio. The way we turn it on is move that paper clip there, and then this 1K pot adjusts the carrier frequency. And I just turn that up until something's not happening here. There we go. Oh. So I'm banging the speaker. It's just a 32 ohm um, headphone speaker. That's my microphone. And unfortunately, when it's in tune, that's when you hear all that ugly hissing and static over there on the radio. Hello? Testing, one, two. I'm going to put the, uh, the camera microphone, the external mic, over by the radio so you hear, hear my voice on that thing much more than coming out of my own mouth. Okay, so that's a range of about two meters, not very far at all, which is good because, you know, I really shouldn't be broadcasting on AM anyway, at any significant distance. Um, I'm going to do a little experiment now where I rotate the antenna over there, and you can see how magnetically coupled these things are. The radio itself has the AM antenna, is this ferrite rod up here with the coil wrapped around it and so if I arrange it like this or like that so it's magnetically coupled the magnetic field going this way all the way down to that antenna down there then it's a very strong signal going through but if I rotate this 90 degrees or if I rotate that 90 degrees there's no signal at all going through Okay, now you can hear me. That's because the 
The magnetic coupling is going this way and looping all the way around into the radio antenna. So pretty cool. So there you go. Classically breadboarded. I know it's not a real breadboard, but it's the same concept, just plugging everything into a piece of wood. Classically breadboarded AM radio. Fun little project to, to work on, play with, and learn about AM or yeah, learn about AM radio transmission. Thanks for watching. See you later.